Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now in boxing, you know, you got people that are very dangerous in the world of boxing. And then we kind of all know it. And people try to avoid them and stuff over the years. A lot of times they'll give them the name called the boogeyman. You know, because ain't nobody want to see them. Ain't nobody want to fight against them. The boogeyman, right? So that's what they'll be called most of the time. You know what I mean? So when you're dealing with the boogeyman, most of the time you're dealing with a bad dude or woman. Depending on what, you know, what type of boxing it is. Bad, right? Most of the time. But then you got some people that are willing to deal with the boogeyman, right? that are willing to say, you know something? I'll take the boogeyman, right? I'll take the boogeyman. And those are the boogeyman bounty hunters. Those are the ones. Right now, in the super middleweight division, I think we can all say that uh, Dave Benavides is the bo boogeyman of that division, right? We know that Canelo just won't want to fight him, right? Among others, probably. But the, mace, the main one is Canelo. And Canelo, you know, the reason why people always talk about Canelo, people call him Canelo haters and stuff like that. It's not what it's all about. It's just, hey, you're calling him the very best fighter in the world or the face of boxing. So, of course, you know, he's going to get uh, viewed like that. He's going to get judged like that. So that's how, what that is all about. So uh, one of the guys as awesome as Canelo just ain't going to fight him. It's the boogeyman, right? Right? So uh, Dave Benavides, we were told, was going to fight David Morrell. The WBA regular champion for two years. And now it comes out, come to find out, they've been a visa said, I ain't fighting him. More or less. You know, that's not what he's trying to fight. And then he said, I'd rather fight Mungia. Not a good look. But they've been a have fought everybody else right up, up until now. So, you know, um, it's not all that bad, and I'll tell you why. The reason why is like what I was saying yesterday is if David Benavides and David Morrell fight, it should be for something. When you got two of the best fighters in the division, it should just be more than a fight, right? I think that Canelo should be stripped by the WBA because it's been two years. He hasn't fought his uh, mandatory in Morrell, and we know what the WBNC been doing with uh, David Benavides and, and Canelo. Uh, he should be stripped of that a long time ago, right? And so then that way that fight will be a unification fight between those two, and it'll probably be more lucrative. I don't think that David Morrell and David Benavides should fight for pennies either, right? So if it's about that, then it's that. But a bottom line is David Morrell then came out and he said a whole lot of stuff about, to, about David Benavides because David Benavides basically said, I'm not fighting him. So Dave Morell basically said, you know, a whole lot of stuff. I can quote some stuff. If he said if he was walking to Cuba, he wouldn't be able to make it down the street without somebody taking his shoes. You know, and they, he's a fraud and stuff like that. But you know how boxers get at each other like that. But bottom line is Dave Morell wants to fight, and he's down for it. So he's a boogeyman bounty hunter, right? And hey, you know, so I've been seeing this through the years. Terrence Crawford, who a lot don't like right now because he's about to fight Errol Spence. Errol Spence used to be called the boogeyman. We know one damn thing, like him or loathe them. We know that Terrence Crawford been wanting to fight Errol Spence for the longest and been after him. So boogeyman bounty hunter, right? And if you want to see another one that we forget about, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Didn't nobody want to fight Lewis Ortiz, right? Nobody. Real King Kong Ortiz, nobody. He fought him twice. Didn't have to. As a voluntary, that was just ridiculous. We try to forget those kind of things, but I'm not. A bounty hunter. A boogeyman bounty hunter. And if you want to say he's not, look at today. Who's fought Lewis Ortiz? Any Tyson Fury? Dillian White? Uh, uh, Anthony Joshua, still not to today, right? Even though he didn't even look that great in his last fight. He's over 40, didn't look that great against Andy Ruiz, but was coming on towards the end of that fight, matter of fact. Don't nobody want to mess with him. Tyson Fury said it. He said he's too risk, too risky. High risk, low reward. That's what Tyson Fury says. It's dumb to fight him. Because you know how Tyson Fury just tells, to speak his mind. So, you know, you're looking at Deontay Wilder, Terrence Crawford, and now David Morrell. Boogeyman, bounty hunters ready to take on the boogeyman, and everybody's not. I'm pretty sure there's a few other ones I haven't thought about right now, but I got things to do. Bottom line is, you know, much props to the people who are willing to take on those boogeyman, because everybody ain't. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm out of here, y'all.